Hey everyone, guys, you're on YouTube here. I'm watching Ghost Hunters. Tonight's the tonight is Grant's last episode. And I haven't watched this I haven't seen the show in a while, but oh my god. And what the heck is on the screen right there? It's creepy. I have never seen this episode. It's like the new episode's on next and wow, this thing's already dying? Really? Really? Okay. Got it plugged in and charging. So I highly doubt it's gonna run out of battery now unless it decides to be a pain on my bum. So yeah, I'm watching an episode of Ghost Hunters that I've never seen before. Apparently it came out last year and I am very angry at myself now because it's an episode involving Waverly Hill Sanatorium. Oh my god, if there's one place I would ever love to investigate, that would be it. Oh my god. I... How come I've never seen this one before? Um, this is like the third time, I think? Um, and then next up's the new episode, which is the episode where Grant leaves. Uh, speaking of paranormal, I've had a lot of random things going on. Oh my god, I've been hearing... I've been hearing voices, I've been seeing things. Oh my god. One time I actually thought I saw something out of, like a full figure out of the corner of my eye. Like a full white figure. It may have been detailed, but I couldn't really tell. <laughs> like one morning, I, I went downstairs to get my morning water bottle. Oh my god. It's like, I was, it's like, so I went downstairs to do, to get my morning stuff. Yeah, get my morning stuff. Walked into the, um, like I walked into the little room we have down there with the second fridge. Which basically is just like storage for like whatever doesn't fit in the main fridge in the kitchen. And that's where we have my water bottles. So I go and get the water bottle. And it's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm like half asleep I'm walking there. And it's just like, in the kitchen there's like this, it's like the kitchen. And then like, okay, kitchen's down here. Then there's like a hall, like right in here. In the room. And then there's the room with the fridge right here. But then... In this hall right here, there's the entrance to the dining room right here. And in the dining room, which is like right, right up here, would be like where we have like, be like the main corner of the dining room connecting it to the main foyer, which would be over here somewhere. And in the corner, of the, in that corner of the dining room, there's a clock, a little chair, and some, a plant and some dolls and stuff. So it was like I'm just walking down there, and my mom at the time had one, had a doll sitting on on the chair the only time from there, so it's just like, oh. I go to I go to get the water. I go to go into the room. I go to go into the room over here with the with the fridge. And I see it, it's like and I see this thing. It's like I see this girl, but it's like I see this girl in like this Victorian dress almost almost like long, almost like a, she looks almost exactly like a life size version of of one of the dolls my mom had in the dresser in there. Which was on the same wall as the entrance where I was looking through. It was so weird. So it's like, I'm half asleep. I'm going into, like, I'm going into the room to get my water. I see the other thing. It's like, oh, it's just one of my mom's dolls. It looks pretty. But the thing is, it's like, in the corner, it's just like, there's the clock. There's the chair down here. And then you can see the window, like, right in here. So the bottom of the window is, like, right here. This this girl, she's like, she literally, it's like her, she was literally like as tall, as, like right up to the, maybe like a little higher than the window. But it's just like, because it was, because I was half asleep, obviously nearsighted, I'm not going down there with my glasses in the morning. It's dark down there. So I just figured, oh, it's from my mom's dolls. Not really thinking at the time. And... When I was walking out, I was walking towards the stairs, which was the which was back in the opposite direction. This is like dining room, the hall, the room, and then down here would be the kitchen, and then over here would be the stairs. So I'm coming out of the so I'm coming out of that room, and as I'm walking towards the stairs, it's, it finally it's like it's. It finally starts like hitting me that it's just like wait the doll in the chair wasn't there and it's just like that's odd I mean the doll in the chair was, was not dressed up like the like the girl that I saw but it's just like okay that's awkward so then I go to check to see if I was just imagining things and it's just like then I see 
the girl. We just full detail. I mean, like, not full, full detail, because obviously still have to sleep. I'm not wearing glasses, so blurry vision, but it's just like... She's in this, like, Victorian, like, in this pink Victorian dress. But it looks like she had, like, the lace, like, lacy socks with little lace trim around the ankle. But it's like, it stopped, it's like the dress stopped somewhere below the, below the knees. And it was, like, one of those layers, too, so it was, like, it had the little, like, lazy layer underneath, too. And she has a, and it had, like, the ribbon that went around the waist. And a bow in her hair. And she had, like, this long, curly hair. It's just, like, I couldn't see the eyes, but it's just, like, I was just looking at her, and it's just, like, I was just, like, looking at her, like, that's not one of the dolls. And it finally clicks. I'm trying not to get scared, because it's, like, that's the thing. I'm, in, I'm into the paranormal stuff, so it's, like, basically show no fear and it's just like so I just slowly start going up the stairs it's like I nod and just go up the stairs and then I start speeding speeding up when I go up the stairs and then it's just like right when I start to speed up I like I just want I saw this thing like start sort of like floating toward me from the, from the dining room I'm like holy and I'm like, I'm like I'm not saying that out loud but it's just like in my mind I'm like just like holy shnikes and I I started like speed walking up the steps and I look and out of the corner of my eye I see this thing like I could have sworn it's like a white blur just like slowly floating down the kitchen towards the stairs and I just like once I get up it's like once I get just up the stairs I'm like sprinting and I can feel this thing behind me it's like not directly behind me but it's just like behind me they follow me and it's like so I sprint in here close the door and it's just like I could feel it coming and just like stop and it's like just this feeling just disappears once he gets close to my room. It was so so freaky, awesome, but freaky. I mean, I haven't seen I haven't seen her since. I mean, I know a few times before that, it's like I've heard a little girl, like I've heard the voice of a little girl, I've heard laugh. It's like I've heard a little girl laugh before. I know in the past I've heard other voices, like I've heard female voices. Like once when I was actually taking a nap, I. Heard no, wait, no, that was actually when I would go to sleep. And it's just like, so I'm laying in bed. And that's the thing, I like to put the covers over my head. Because it's like, I, I, don't, I don't know why, I just feel, I like, I like being completely covered. But it's just like, so it's like, I'm, I have the covers, like, slightly pulled over my head. Not like tightly, like, oh my god, this is so scary. Just like, okay, this is comfortable. And it's just like, you know, it's an area but it's really weird. It's just like I'm laying there. I'm getting comfy. I'm just like drifting off, and I don't know where I just I feel this pressure. It's like I'm laying on my side. And I feel this pressure on my shoulder. It's like so this side's on the so this side's on the bed, and this side is just facing up. And I start hearing this. And I started feeling this pressure. It was like almost like a tingling sensation, but pressure at the same time. One more time. That's crazy. But that's what I was trying to say about this one time. Just like, so I'm laying in there, getting this tingling sensation, but it's like it added pressure to almost like someone, almost like someone's sitting next to me. Like someone's like literally just like sitting down next to me in the bed. But it's like they're leaning over too. So it's like they're going like pat on the back. Or like right in the shoulder here. Like right up here. And it's like I can feel the pressure in here, but it's just like right when I feel it's like right as I'm feeling that I'm like I start freaking out a little. So I start gripping so I start adding a bit more of a tighter grip to the to the covers and that's when I hear a voice. That's when I get really scared. Because then I hear this voice saying something like, I mean, I don't, I mean, I don't remember what exactly what it said last time, but was, this was like crystal clear, right, right in my ear. And it's just like, it's going to be all, it's going to be all right. And it's like, and it's this woman's voice. I've never heard of Actually, I, mean, I may have heard, I might have been the same voice I heard in the dining room once or twice before, but it's just like, oh my god. 
Jeffrey is so weird. Sorry, the commercial. And that like just creeped me out. And it's like the whole entire time, it's just like I'm getting this like pressure. Like she's like this spirit is like or whatever it was was like press like pressing down, like patting me. Oh my god. It creeped me out.